Hello guys, in this video, let us discuss about app service plan. So guys, we host our web app in Azure app service, right? And for this hosting, it needs hardware with CPU, memory and storage. Now, this required hardware is provided by app service plan. So as you can guess, behind the scene, app service plan contains virtual machines. Now at high level, app service plan provides us the hardware that is CPU, memory and storage and the features like custom domain, scale up, scale out feature, deployment slots, VNet integration and a lot more. Now not every app service plan has all these features. So again, as we can guess, higher the plan, we get higher CPU, memory and storage, we get more features and of course higher the cost. Right, And we can attach multiple app services to a single app service plan. So I guess understanding this, it was quite straightforward. Now in simple words, we can divide app service plan as free or app service plan for day or test environment and app service plan for production environments. Let's actually see this in Azure documentation. So guys, as you can see, I am in my browser and here I say Azure App Service Plan Pricing and I will say enter. Let's open this first URL. Let's go down. And guys, can you see this free that is F1 then D1 that is shared. Let's go down. And again, this is the basic plan. So generally we can use this for our dev and QA environments and you can see this B1, B2 and B3 and you can see as the plan changes the number of cores that means CPU it also changes 1, 2, 4 and also RAM that is memory also changes. So more the CPU, more the RAM and more the storage price is also high. And if you go down, we have app service premium plans and Generally, these are used for production environments. Now, let's go back to our PPT again. Now, guys, when we update or when we upgrade our app service plan, that is scale up. So, for example, if performance of our app is slow, we can scale it up to better app service plan. So, that means we can increase the CPU, memory and storage. Okay. Now, can we just upgrade app service plan only? No, we can upgrade or downgrade the app service plan as well. And now the most important thing, we can change this app service plan. That is, we can upgrade or downgrade this app service plan on the fly. Okay. Let's actually see it in action. So guys, we are in Azure portal and let's click on this app services. Let's open this app service that is our great HR app and if you have followed our previous video, we created this app service in our previous video. So let's open it. Now under overview, we can see this app service plan and also on the left hand side, if you go down here also, we can see this app service plan. So let's click on this app service plan. And here we can see the app service plan. So you can see this is the name of our app service plan and the pricing plan is B1. So that is the plan we selected when we created this app service. Okay. Now let's actually see what this B1 plan contains. So let's click on this. So guys, can you see this B1 basic B1 and generally it is used for dev or test environments and it provides us 100 ACU. So guys, ACU, it means Azure Compute Unit. So basically that's the criteria used by Azure to decide how much compute power it provides. Then vCPU, that means number of core, that is one. Then memory, 1.75 GB and then storage, okay? Now let's say our app is no longer able to handle the increasing load and the performance is slow. So Obviously, we need to now increase this app service plan. That is, we need to go to the higher app service plan. So, 
it's really simple and on a single click we can do that so let's simply go to this production and let's select this premium v3 p o v3 so let's select this and let's say select and if i say upgrade on the fly my existing app service plan will be upgraded to this newly selected app service plan let's actually do this so i'll click on upgrade and you see it says updating app service plan and it was successful so let's close this let's again click on our app service and again we are under overview and guys can you see this app service plan and it now shows POV3 right so that is the higher app service plan we just upgraded to